Thank you for your interest in our video presentation. This is a case report titled Mandibular Micronathia and Vertical Maxillary Excess Correction with Combination Lafort 1 and Inverted L Osteotomies. This case was orthodontically treated by Dr. Hunter Boss with contributions from Dr. Jay Park and Dr. Michael Papadimitrio at the Postgraduate Orthodontics Program, Arizona School of Dentistry and Oral Health, A.T. Still University in Mesa, Arizona. This case was treated surgically by Dr. Albert Carlotti, and the critical review of this case report was completed by Dr. John Grubb. This presentation is narrated by Dr. Hunter Boss. This is our 34-year-old patient who presented with a chief complaint of, I need jaw surgery. The patient presented with class two malocclusion with mandibular micrognathia, diminutive condyles, and vertical maxillary excess that is well characterized as bird face deformity. The pretreatment dental casts reveal the beyond full step class two molar and canine relationships. They also reveal an overbite of negative 0.8 millimeters and an overjet of 20.7 millimeters. The cephalometric analysis reveals an A and B of 14.3 degrees and a width of 10.2 millimeters. Note the diminutive condyle ramus complex that clinically presents a short posterior face height. Here is another view of the diminutive condyle ramus complex. A technetium 99 bone scan was completed which reinforced the assessment that the patient did not have active joint disease. The ABO discrepancy index for this case was a 63. The treatment plan for this case included pre-surgical orthodontics with lower interproximal reduction, maxillary Lefort 1 osteotomy with impaction, bilateral inverted L osteotomies with iliac crest bone grafts, and a sliding genioplasty. This would allow for advancement and autorotation of the mandible, reduce the vertical maxillary excess, lengthen the posterior face height, establish class 1 and molar canine relationship, and improve facial profile and smiling aesthetics. If you would like to know why the BSSO was not indicated in this case, please read our case report. Here is our virtual surgical planning. Note the placement of the inverted L osteotomies. Also note the proximal and distal bone segment osteotomy gap. This is where the iliac crest bone graft is required. Here is her final result, just after 16 months of treatment. The maxilla was impacted 6 millimeters, measured at the maxillary incisors, and the mandible was advanced 25 millimeters, measured at pagonion. Here are the post-treatment dental casts. The patient's post-treatment CBCT TMJ slices reveal well-positioned condyles with some slight bony remodeling of the joint architecture. Our case finished with a score of 13 on the ABO CRE. You can appreciate the magnitude of surgical and orthodontic correction from the lateral view, three-quarter view, and the frontal view. If you are interested in learning more about this case, you can find it in the AJODO May 2020 issue. Thank you for your attention.